Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be doing a review on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I gotta play some hard. I've been getting double teams every time my phone rings. It's your I got the one terabyte storage option because my previous phone or the phone I'm using right now is actually the iPhone 11, 128 gigabytes. So yeah, I got the new iOS. So you can go ahead and let me unlock on my face. You can go ahead and change the the lock screen from the home button. So. My oh, is a static shock. This is my car. Me in Japan at the vape store, which I haven't dropped a vlog yet, so I'm gonna do that soon. One piece, and then you know, Ghana flag. It's like uh, Adam, uh, Adam created by man, but the Ghana version. So yeah, I keep it on the one piece lock screen right now. Anywho, so then before that phone, I had the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus. All right, so this is the box that the iPhone. 14 Pro Max comes in. I got the deep purple color, so I thought that was pretty cool. Cause I, I'm actually really fond of my uh, purple 11. So as you can see right here, go ahead and zoom up into the box. So it says iPhone 14 Pro Max, designed in Apple, or designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. And this is all the information right here. One terabyte deep purple. So it's got this little little thing right here says pull it's the little arrow let me focus it's the arrow so I'm gonna pull along the edges boom I gotta do the same thing for the bottom awesome oh before I open this up I almost forgot to mention I ordered I pre-ordered this phone on September 9th and it took so long to get here it's not October 24th so Apple as a as a good faith gesture, they gave me a pair of second generation AirPods. So I actually have the AirPod Pros that I bought like the, the summer 2020. So yeah, I got a Sprite case. I also have a PS5 controller case, but that's not in here today. Anyway, so since they sent me that phone's the AirPods, I'm just gonna keep that as a backup for now. So this is the iPhone 14 Deep Purple. Let me go ahead and compare these two so you can see. So it's definitely a lot darker kind of like a, a metallic -y look so I think it's pretty cool alright let's go ahead and see what's inside this container so you got the iPhone 14 then it comes with a charger so it's lightning to USB-C port looks like let me go ahead and confirm yeah lightning let me go ahead and focus the camera real quick lightning to USB-C is standard right now. Uh, it comes with no charger. It's probably the lightest box I've ever gotten. Like, hold on, I can use a reference real quick. I have my iPhone 14 box. When I got my iPhone 4, I don't know, my iPhone 3, my iPhone 11 box. This is my iPhone 11 box compared to the iPhone 14. Look how much smaller it is, right? Crazy, right? big difference so when I got my iPhone 11 like almost three years ago I got it in January 2020 this one came with a charger earphones then the little thing to change the SIM card so they got totally got rid of the charging block and the, the earphones <laughs> excuse me and so go ahead and take off the ooh got the iPhone 14 Pro Max right here see the back super nice very clean go ahead and show you guys the three cameras it's supposed to be like 48 megapixels so so I personally needed a super huge upgrade I, I really thought about going to Android for a little bit but I didn't so here we are let me go ahead and turn this on alright so let's turn it on right now I'm definitely going to have to transfer all my stuff from my old phone to this phone, so let's wait for this to power on. Ah, hello. So, it's in different languages. I'll slide it up. Let me go ahead and... English. Let me go ahead and pause this so I can make the setup a lot cleaner. 
Alright, let's go ahead and continue. Alright. United States. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So that would be my iPhone 11. You go ahead and unlock. Oh. Put the password off the screen real quick. Alright, oh, you see that? Set up your new iPhone. Press continue. I want to transfer everything from this phone, the iPhone 11, to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, so it says hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Right, so I gotta, I gotta scan it with this. Yeah, things ready. Go ahead, set this up. Then I gotta go ahead and put the password on the phone, so I'm gonna just take it off the screen real quick. Alright. Then I'm gonna just wait. So it's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start recording once this part finishes. I went ahead and put a screen protector on and I activated the phone. I'm going to clear my notifications so that's not visible. So yeah, now when I charge it, as you can see, just a wireless charger. Try to line this up properly. There you go. Yeah, so now it's charging, as you can see. The iPhone 11 is also you can have it has MagSafe charging on it. So good. Put it on there. So now they're both charging. Pretty cool. So, yep. I also got this uh, MagSafe charging case. So, as you can see, it can charge through the case, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on later, like after the video. But some of the cool features on the phone are like this is the new iOS software. So, that's not super new. They put it out for the previous models too, like the iPhone 10 and above. But you can change. The lock screen stuff from the home screen just by unlocking with your face which is pretty cool and another cool thing is that when you play music or like right now I'm using my airpods you just saw it hold on let me connect my airpods and disconnect them so the notch is now fully interactive so I just connected my airpods and then it pops up in the notch as you can see so if I play music it starts showing the music on the notch as well let me get out the music app. So now you can see the music that I'm playing. It shows up in the notch. Same thing with other apps. If I go to YouTube and I watch a video and then I leave, whatever I'm doing, it kind of shows up in the notch. It's pretty cool. So let's see. Let's see what happens when I go to my emails. I just click out. Other stuff is interactive. Uh, oh, phone call. Stuff like that. You probably have to cut that part of the video. I didn't mean to show numbers. But uh yeah. So everything is pretty interactive. So with the notch, well, I can just do this. I'll press my AirPod and play the music. So let's play my YouTube. Let's play the music. But yeah, so let's say I click the notch, whatever's going on, I click it, and then I can see it from here. I also see the screen by swiping it down from there. It's another cool feature. Um, the camera setting modes, it's a lot of new stuff. Let me go ahead and go to the camera. So, you can still shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second. Oh, and the battery life is pretty good too, because I've been using my phone like all day and it's still at 47%, which is pretty cool. And I wake up at like 5 a.m. so like more camera settings I'm not gonna get too into specifics because I'm not a tech reviewer but yeah there's a lot of cool stuff on here let's see and yeah so with the widgets that's part of the iOS update but uh yeah I'm just really liking the phone I'll probably do like a month later of owning the phone but as you can see the deep purple colorway is really nice put this down so you can focus this is what it looks like compared to my iPhone 11. Then my iPhone 7 Plus right here. So you can go ahead and see all three of them. 
Oh, I think I just zoom out. Three different generations of iPhones, pretty cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up this video real quick because this is just supposed to be an unboxing, not a review. So I'll go ahead and put my case, put this case on. Yeah, I got this case. It was like, I want to say it was like 18 bucks or something like that. Put the lanyard on to make the phone waterproof, fully waterproof, so I could be like swimming underwater and take pictures if I ever go traveling. And then, yeah, MagSafe charger. So I can show you guys, like, when I charge it. Look. You gotta bring it lower a little bit. There it goes. Now it's charging with the case. It's pretty cool. Definitely a nice feature to have. Well, that'll be all for the video. If you guys have any questions about my experience getting the iPhone, I, it sucks that there's no like charging box or earphones or AirPods coming with the phone, but it's what it is. This Apple is trying to make more money and more profits. So I'm out. Peace. Cuba. Cuba. Yeah. Yeah. These haters love to talk